Hi everyone, changing direction of play. That's what we've got for today's session. It's a 4v4 post, a small sided game with two wall passes on both ends of the grid. The players who play 4 vs 4, the possessive team has a numerical advantage of two wall passes that equals 6 v4. So every possessive team has to play C versus four no defensive team. The players have to move the ball as quick as possible and try to change direction of play with wall passes standing. A quick combination of play and a quick change of direction of play. And every player has to support in that situation. Players can keep position for as long as they can, trying to stay out wide when they have the ball. We can change the variation, um, maybe after 10 passes, the players can try to score in goal. Oh, after 10 passes conceded by the defending team, they could be punished. You can see how the ball goes quickly from side to side, from opposite direction. So it's all about trying to take the opposing players closer to themselves and explore the space behind. It's more of a possessive. Uh, uh, game as well but with the objective of switching direction so the coaching point of the session has to be quick thinking quick change of direction scanning scanning what more very important passing and support decision making and also marking very very important aspect you can see the black team they're very aggressive immediately lose the ball it takes them few seconds maximum three seconds to five to get the ball back and be on possession we try to get the ball back and try to play them as quick as possible. So players are encouraged to always go for the marking and try to always get the ball back in order to stay in position. Support is always another point to look at. The players have to move and switch direction immediately the ball travels to the older end. It's not to be done by just jogging but they have to sprint as quick as possible this also helped the goalkeeper to, to be well well played by the food most of the goalkeepers are not really good on food so this will help the goalkeeper to also play and give good passes also support and also organize from the back now 10 passes complete the player tries to aim at goal but he hit the crossbar that was a miss so another build up has to be done another 10 passes has to be played for another goal to be scored the exercise continues in this variation itself. Variation can be changed, more players can be added, 
in as much as it is not crowded. Two goalposts can be added at the end of both sides instead of one. And players can try to score with the with the objectives of keeping the ball for ten passes and more to score. This is all we have to do for today's session. Players can watch the and try to learn and coaches also can watch and try to uh, use the session in their, in their practice and this is all we have for you until next time we say stay eager be jiggy bye for now <laughs>